Around 20,000 cats free roam the streets of Topeka. The Humane Society of the United States says you can get to that number by taking the amount of people living in an area and dividing that by 10. Volunteers from a number of different organizations cater to these cats today by building shelters to keep them warm this winter. 13's Brent Palmer has more on this Cat-tastic news. Helping Hands Humane Society and the Midwest Kitten Coalition teamed up for the third annual Cat Shelter Build Day. They are built um, with an insulated styrofoam. We cut a hole in there. I put straw, not hay, but put straw in it, and it can get distributed around in areas where there are colonies of cats and free-roaming cats so that they can go in there and hunker down for the winter. Nearly 200 of these shelters were built today to keep cat colonies managed in the cold. Once the first freeze hits or once there starts to be snow on the ground, a lot of really well-meaning, well-intentioned people will start bringing cats into the shelter and they say, you know, I found this cat outside, I'm worried about it in the cold. That does not work. What you're doing is removing a cat from an area that it is, it knows and it's familiar and it's overburdening to the shelter. Placing a warm shelter near a cat colony will guard them from the elements. People volunteered from a variety of different pet organizations, including Positively Jefferson County. They help all the different community rescues and TNR groups, so it's only right that we come and help them make these shelters. So we all kind of work hand in hand together to improve all these cats' lives. According to Helping Hands, cat colonies can't be removed, but can be helped by events like these. If people, you know, are worried about stray cats in their area, even if they do not support community cat programming, getting involved is the only way that's going to make this successful. Um, people can either turn a blind eye to the programs that are trying to reduce the number of ca community cats, or they can get involved with events like this. Brent Palmer, 13 News. While the Cat Shelter Build Day has ended, you can still contribute by going to the helping by going to Helping Hands and picking up a shelter box for a cat colony near you while supplies last.